Hi you guys, welcome back to First Impression Friday where I review an entire collection of sewing patterns, whether it's a new release from a big four like today or an entire indie pattern designers collection. New Look has released some new sewing patterns, although you wouldn't know it because the homepage of the Simplicity site doesn't even mention it. So I'm not entirely sure what's What's up with that? I'm going to try not to overthink it like I tend to do. There's not a ton of patterns, as you can see, only 10. So this is going to be a quick one, but I really, really love new look patterns. I think that they are my exact style. They're not too young, not too mature. Um, so I hope it doesn't mean more than I'm making it out to mean in my head. <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> the good thing about new look too is like when you go to your Joanne store, they're the ones on the back wall and they're always $3.99, always. So you don't ever have to wait for a pattern sale. They're just always ready to go, which I really love. And then also they're doing a buy two, get one free sale, which includes new look. Um, so you could actually get like, what would that be? 33% off of one of these. Um, so that makes it really affordable as well. Okay, enough of that. We have new look, Mrs. Dress. Balloon sleeve, midi dress, has plunged neckline, faux button tab with non-working buttons, drop waist tiered skirts, have two lengths and side seam pockets. Sleeveless maxi dress has bias tape finish and armholes. Back bodices have invisible zipper closure. So let's take a look. So this whole panel here is just basically like a placket with buttons sewn all the way through. Like they don't actually come undone. So it's just like an adornment, just like a little bit of a detail. Um, it looks to have a little bit of gathers at the sleeve. And then that also comes down into this side of the princess seam. Now, is this all one? This might be all one piece, kind of like a giant dolman. That could be kind of cool. Um, so we have a princess seam. So we have a waistband. We have princess seams through the top panel of the skirt. And then this maxi version has two tiers on it. Long sleeve, elastic at the wrist, very boho. Yeah, it is all one piece. That's pretty cool and different. I really like that. Here's the sleeveless version. So in theory, you could make a, a sleeve that is set in, not grown on. That's your invisible back zipper. Man, they always look really long. Like, why are they going down this low? You can see where, I mean, okay. You can see her underwear, which we're going to let that go. <laughs> um, but like the zipper doesn't really need to go past, you know, right around here somewhere. <laughs> um, they always have them so long. But I guess this one might be sewn into this first tier of the skirt. And that's kind of cool, actually, because then it makes it... Okay, okay, I'll give them a pass on that this time. But you can see the facing here. This fabric that they used must have a lot of rayon in it. It's got to be some kind of blend or something. Like the drapiness of is it of it is perfect for like this sleeve and the tears and stuff. But it, it's obviously creating like some kind of wonkiness with the waistband. Maybe that needed to be... Well, actually, now that I'm looking at it, it almost feels like... I was going to say, maybe if you interfaced it, it would be different, but it almost feels like this is too big. I bet if we walked up to her and like yanked at the back of the waistband, this would all pull up to be completely horizontal like this. So it might just be a little bit big for her in the waist. All right, here's the pattern back, but we're actually going to look at this instead. This is the line art. So yeah, we caught all this pretty much already. The faux buttons, I don't mind. They seem, you know, not weird. Um, you could leave it off the buttons, I guess, but I don't know. I kind of like it. It gives it a little bit of something to balance out all of this. And then here's your three tiers. Here's our sleeveless version again with the three tiers. But as always, you can leave some of these off if you would like. Yeah, I like it. Okay, so now... Is that the only line art? Oh, well, that kind of sucks. Okay, so we have to look at it this way, which is 
not ideal, but okay, here we are. Um, so, oh yeah, the other thing about New Look that I love is always all the sizes are all in one. Now, that doesn't mean they have a ton of sizes. They definitely don't. But if you are in the middle here and you're normally having like split between a 14 and a 16, you're going to love that because they're all in one. It makes it really, really easy to blend. Um, I think when I first started sewing, I was in like a 12, 16 situation. And so the hips were always getting cut off or the bodice was. Um, and so that's why I think I fell in love with new look to begin with. These days though, I'm a little bit more over here on the <laughs> higher end of the, of the spectrum, but um, okay, so there is interfacing. I'm assuming with just half a yard, it's for the button placket. Um, you might consider adding it to that waistband too, and then, you know, double checking the measurements there. But we do have finished garment measurements for the bust. Um, it looks like about three, two and a half, three inches of ease in the bust. And then they only give us the lower edge so I kind of wish we had a waist finished measurement because I think that would explain a lot as to why it was drooping so much on the model if there's too much ease there you know you have to have ease you have to you won't be able to sit down it'll be super uncomfortable like you have to have ease I get it um, but maybe it's, there's just a little too much then our suggested fabrics are Shally Charmeuse Cotton Lawn Cotton Blends Crepe de Chine Swiss Dot it's an interesting choice. Double gauze and linen blends and wool. Um, okay, so A with the sleeve can only be made out of 60 inch fabrics, but for B, you could use the 45 inch ones as well. So important to call that out. And then nine buttons. Oh, you could even do the um, covered buttons. That's a cute idea. Um, invisible zipper and then elastic for your little sleeve. It's nice. It looks comfy. It's cute. Perfect for lots of different things that you could be doing in your life. <laughs> lots of different occasions. Okay, so this is a Mrs. Knit dress. View A has crisscross straps, bust darts, and side seam pockets. View B has front drape overlay. Both variations have back waist darts and side seam pockets. I love a knit maxi in the spring, in the summer. They're just so super comfortable. Easy, breezy to wear. So this is the crisscross situation. That's actually super nice. It would definitely shock people that I think that you made that at yourself. Yeah, I don't know how hard that is to pull off, but that looks like really cool. Now that does not look like this. Let's look at this again. So this one they have pulled over her full bust, but this one is a little bit up higher, which I guess I, that's the part that I thought was super cool about it. I think if they were both over the boob, I don't know. It might, I don't know. I don't know what it would look like. That I'm not, <laughs> that looks kind of strange, but on her, it looked really good. Then this is the other view. It looks completely different. I think this whole piece here is an overlay. That's going to be a lot of fabric. Um, yeah, okay. I, mm, I wish we could see both versions on a body. This, I'm having a hard time. Man, I don't know. This is going to be one of those things where I'm going to have to, like, see it made up. This, I can get behind. I don't know what this would look like on made out of fabric. I don't know. I don't know. Have you guys ever seen anything like that and ready to wear? I'm trying to think of like examples where like I'm trying to think even sheer or if you did like a lace, would that be weird? I don't know. I have to. Yeah, I'd, I'd have to see it. I'd have to see it. My creativity does not expand into <laughs> what the, what that pattern um requires okay so same sizes as before um dress b yeah dress a takes four yards of fabric that's kind of surprising but i guess because all of this is one you know there's no waist seam or anything that's really where most of your fabric is being eaten up and then for b 
even though it's shorter, you have that overlay, which makes it kind of a fabric hog. So find some good knits um, on sale or clearance at fabric.com or, you know, we just talked about in the Mother's Day gift guide, Fashion Fabrics Club has some super affordable, great quality fabrics um, that you can buy four yards of and not break the bank. All right, so finished garment measurements. We have negative ease, negative half inch ease. Love to see that. The waist has positive five inches of ease and then the hip has 10 inches of ease. So fitted through the bust and then loose everywhere else. That's got to be like the quintessential like plan for summer garments, especially down here in the Southeast where it's just like hot and muggy all the time. Okay. Fabrics like Interlock, Jersey, ITY, Bamboo Knit. Um, I personally don't love a polyester knit in the in the summer. It's I'm not a fan. So I'd be looking for a jersey blend, maybe a jersey rayon, maybe something like that. And then you need bias tape as well, I think for the arm size maybe. But make sure you're getting stretch bias tape. Um Sawmaker Fabrics has a bunch of them or you can make it yourself. All right, so that's 6717. I, I wish I could visualize this better, but alas, I cannot. All right, now we've got a cute little set, bra tops and wrap skirt. So separate set includes bra top and wrap skirt. Top has center back zipper. Oh, I already know I'm going to hate that. And princess seams with the variation for elastic back smocking. Thank you. That's much better. I'll explain why when we get to look at them. Skirt has waist high side seam pockets and elastic waistband. All right, let's take a look at this. So I'm imagine I'm assuming these are for woven fabrics. So you've just got a basic little crop top with a beautiful, really nice squared neckline. Like I am in love with that. Thin straps, but it goes out wide to the shoulder. Um, this one might be a little bit big for her in the upper bust. But I also imagine this is fully lined. Um, this is our skirt. They used a gauze for it. Um, there is an elastic waist underneath this uh, tie that's here. I love this. Let's see. There's the bra top she's wearing with the princess seams. They, you know, you can nip and tuck princess seams really easily. It's really easy to fit. There's our skirt. Here's the back. Okay. So this is why I hate <laughs> crop tops with, um, or any top really, with a center back zipper. I am not super flexible. I don't know many people who could zip this by themselves. Like this whole thing comes apart. I think that a center back zipper on a top where the a zipper doesn't extend like down to here, the zipper needs to be in the front. Like it, you just, that's how you have to get into it. So I appreciate that they did offer a solution with the smocking in the back because then you just at that point pull it on and it becomes like super stretchy. It becomes like, you know, a lot more comfortable also too, because it does have a lot more ease of movement in there. And then here's our um, elastic in the back. You can see um, how that looks nice, big, wide casing. Love that. Yeah, and they're calling it easy. I imagine it is. So, um, okay, so bra top. Yep, little one yard wonder. Um, and then it is fully lined. And there is also some interfacing. Here you can see the smocking here. Um, bra top B, same little one yard wonder situation. And then the skirt takes three yards of fabric also with interfacing. Finished garment measurements of the bust. We have roughly two inches of ease. That seems appropriate to me. Um, you might wanna size down though if you're doing the smocking. I don't know if they're gonna tell you that or not, but um, because the smocking like stretches out, you could probably remove, you know, maybe an inch all around. 
Um, and then what else was I going to say? Oh, I wish we had a waist measurement for this skirt, but I guess because it's elastic waist, they're kind of just like, what ups? All right. Batik, chambray, cotton blends, double gauze, gingham, linen blends, poplin. Yeah. Gingham. Are you kidding me? Like I love gingham anyways. I love any kind of like big box plaid, but this would be such a cute set in gingham. Love a poplin for this linen blend. Yeah. All of these are great options great options and then you need separating zipper which hopefully none of you will actually do that option <laughs> and then so the way that they teach you to do smocking is make a gajillion casings and then put in this quarter inch elastic through all of them just look up how to do actual real smocking with the elastic thread like it's not hard if you need a video on it let me know um I'm happy to make one. There are a million, but if you want one just from me, then I'm happy to make one. Um, and then for C, you need one and a half inch elastic for that super nice waistband. I love that. I love a really thick elastic at a waistband. Okay, cool. That's a winner to me. Um, next we have, I think the skirt. Yep. A little asymmetrical situation. Bias cut, you guys. Do I have to keep telling you how amazing bias cut skirts and dresses are? Handkerchief hem starts below the knee, ends at mid calf, and can be made in one or contrast fabrics. Shorter view has straight hem and falls above the knee. Tie belt can be self or contrast. So bias cut, meaning this is the grain of the fabric. It's going this way. Do, 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 do. So this little thing is not going to grow out and get longer, which would happen if it weren't bias cut. Um, and you can do the, the two tones, which two tones are still having a moment. Um, uh, black and white is really having a moment. I can see that in this or like crazy colors, like purple and yellow, you know, like things you wouldn't normally put together. Um, something like that would be fun. Stripes are obviously a great option. Anytime you're doing bias cut. And then there it is in like two tone. That's really pretty idea too. Um, with like the nudes. Here's the shorter version, still cut on the bias, um, but cut straight across and a little tie belt. And it does look like they have actual belt carriers, so I appreciate that. The styling here leaves a lot to be <laughs> desired. Even her, somebody else commented recently, but wait, hold, my mind is like racing. There's a lot of thoughts at once. Um, about how you can look at the model's faces and tell if it's really like, cute and in trend on trend and if they're like they would actually wear it um I'm getting a vibe from her that she's like what am I doing here but she looks like Elizabeth Olsen don't you guys think that she could be one of the the fourth Olsen's with Olsen sister for sure okay um here are our line drawings yeah nothing new or exceptional there um so this one actually starts at 10 and goes up to 22. So that's interesting. So our waist goes from 25 to 37. Hip goes from 34 to 46. Lots of um, fabric because it's cut on the bias for A. For B, because it's the contrast fabric, it's been split up, but it's still the same three, almost four yards of fabric. And then skirt C takes two yards. But it's worth it, you guys. I promise. Promise. Um, cottons, crepe, linen, silky types, rayons. Yeah, all of those. Lightweight, drapey, beautiful. And then one invisible zipper to get in and out of it. And if it has teardrop pockets, you guys can use my tutorial to switch it out into pockets that are kind of like stabilized into the waistband. Let me know if you have trouble finding that. If you're interested in it, I can link you to it. Oh, look how cute this little top is. Well, love this. I feel like I kind of sort of have a top like this and I made that dress out of the bed sheet out of it. And didn't love the neckline. Um, remember I had to do the bra carriers and it was falling off and the area around here is like a little bit tight on my bicep. So this could be a good like let's try again. Same style but you know different pattern. Square neck button front top has tucks on front yoke and self ruffles. Scoop neck sleeveless top has contrast yoke and optional purchase trim. 
so okay so you actually have like a deep shoulder the one that I have now I want to say the sleeve where it's like this bubble sleeve like that's it there's no actual shoulder seam so this is what's going to help it stay on it's got this cute little ruffle detail all around this square neckline don't know how difficult that is to sew but man it really is cute big nice puffy sleeve then you have an elastic um, at the bicep as well button front with pin tucks through here and maybe a seam here which might be a little bit high on her I feel like is it supposed to be empire waist and then it just comes down and it's actually quite long hits somewhere between the high hip which for her I think is around here and her low hip yeah is this supposed to be your underbust line that's one thing I would double check because on her it hit right across the fullest part of her bust which if you're full busted that's not the most attractive look oh there it is sleeveless and they added some lace trim to it yeah it looks pretty good all around I don't see any issues really with fit other than that seam being a little bit high so on your pattern piece they should have like bust line waistline you just want to make sure that all that lines up with your actual body okay so this is an 8 to 18 so they actually reduced a size and only six sizes in this one um two yards for top a a little one yard wonder for b great use of scraps and then just oh wait you need another wait contrast front and back I didn't show that B had a contrast hold on hold on oh I see that's why I was like wait what um so yeah the top and bottom are different okay gotcha so it's actually not a one yard wonder it is still two yards finished bust measurement still has that two and a half is that what that is? Yeah, two and a half yard, two and a half inches of ease. Which is perfectly fine for a woven top like this. Batiks, calico, chambray, cotton blends, cotton long gingham, linen blends, poplin shirtings, wool. Yeah. All of those great little kind of like um, maybe lightweight but structured fabrics for sure. Six buttons, elastic, and then trim if you're doing B. She's cute. Now we have this guy, a little wrap front, wrap top with optional lace trim and three quarter puff sleeves, has hip length peplum gathered into waistline seam with self ties. Second option includes cap sleeves, self ties, and short peplum tops. Short peplum that stops at the high hip. Okay. So gathered sleeves or cap sleeves, hip length or high hip length, right? Those are the differences. Okay, so really fun use of trim. If you find a trim that you absolutely love, this would be a great option for that. Kind of gives you a shawl collar effect. Here's that big kind of puffy sleeve. It ends in like a bound um, hem right below your elbow peplum with like little gathers and it ties I don't love like the naturalness of it all but it could be really cute and like a oh, chambray I was just gonna say um especially if you got like a really cool like natural eyelet trim would be so pretty yeah there it is in like a really cute printed version and this is the shorter um uh link but the description said cap sleeves and this is still gathered so does i've always assumed cap sleeve meant the sleeve cap was um flat but maybe it just means the length that would be something new that i've learned today yeah cute easy to wear great to throw on with jeans of course or any kind of like pencil pant Great transitional piece if you're going back into the office. A lot of offices are more casual than they were before the pandemic. 
great fit through here. Like really, really nice fit through the bodice for sure. A little bit of a facing here. Yeah, see what I mean? No look, I don't know. It just hits different than the other ones. Than the other um, big four pattern companies. And then, so we're reaching the end here. We have like <laughs> these pictures. A little baby clothes. A little like, oh, I don't even know what you call that age range. Girl, not a toddler. A girl dress. And then this is like a bit of a toddler and a little bit older dress. And then you have this top that maybe is unisex. Yeah. Um, so his and hers relaxed fit button front shirt with collar and band features, oversized pockets, long sleeves with cuffs and back yoke with pleat. I don't know how many more classic button down shirts we could possibly like put on the market, but here we are again. This is like a spring version of a shacket. They've used chambray, I think. This detail here with the pocket is the only thing that separates this from every other, well, I mean, the oversizedness of it all on her. On him, it kind of looks about the same, but on her, you can really see it's a bit of a drop shoulder. But everything else is the exact same. The deep pockets do... You know, it's a vibe. That, did they, what's with all the white? Is that piping? You could make it in stiffer fabrics for sure and save it for the fall and do a flannel, you know, whatever. That would be really cute too, especially if you did the pockets on the bias. That would be really fun. Pockets on the bias, this little placket on the bias, your under collar on the bias, all of that would be fun. Even maybe your cuffs on the bias. Yeah, I mean, it's a great shirt. Great, great shirt. If you need, you know, another one, <laughs> here you go. But you could probably take another button down that you have in your closet already and just draft gigantic pockets for it. Make it in a couple sizes too big. And there you have it, oversized <laughs> button down. All right, so like I said, not a ton of patterns. Um, I was going to see if they have a look book for this. Um, but I, I mean, really, genuinely, I would buy any of these patterns. I, They just speak to me. I, They're all basics with a twist, um, and that's just really, really what I love. I feel like they're dressed up, they're dressed down. I love a new look pattern. So not many to choose from. Um, take advantage of the online sale or you can go into your Joanne and they're always $3.99 there as well. So let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. If you missed last week's First Impression Friday, I have it linked here. It's for Indie Pattern Company Winter Wear Designs. Um, and it's a long one too. So if you're looking to have a little buddy in your ear. That'll be me. Click the bottom right hand corner of your screen to check that out. But that's going to do it for me today, y'all. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you all very soon. Bye.